Okay, the purpose of this uh, tutorial is to show how to make multiple parts, uh, multiple dialogue files for, for characters in your stories in MovieZoo. Now the software that I'm going to use for this is Audacity. It's free. You can search for it online and download it. Uh, this is what's shown here now on my screen. And uh, when you first open Audacity, this is what you'll see is basically a blank screen with uh, the controls. This is for recording for stopping and for playing. So I'm going to start by recording just some nonsense dialogue <clears throat> for the purposes of illustration. And uh, I'll begin by clicking the uh, record. Each time you click record it creates a new track. So the first track will be for the, for the first character. Hi, what is your name? Okay, now the next time I click it's going to start uh, recording and it's going to it's going to play back what I already played and I'm going to wait for it to finish playing and then I'm going to respond to it. Okay. Hi, what is your name? My name is Big Guy. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, give another person a chance to answer the question. Again, whenever I click record, it's going to start a new track and I'm going to wait for the other two people to talk. Uh, because it's very important that all of the dialogue starts at the same place. So we have to wait for the other people to talk because that's the way it's going to work out in MovieZoo. Each person has to wait for the other person to talk. Hi, what is your name? My name is Big Guy. And my name is Pretty Girl. Okay, so now we've got three dialogues. One can be used for each character. And, and I'm going to add uh, an additional... Uh, bit for the first character so that you can see how to add something on to the end and and beyond that it's it's just the same thing over and over again no matter how many characters you need to to create dialogue for so again I'm going to create a, another track um, and it's going to append it to the end and I have to wait for everybody else to talk before I can talk again hi what is your name my name is big guy and my name is pretty girl Thanks to both of you for telling me your name. Okay, what we have now is we've got four tracks but three characters, and that's not going to work in MovieZoo. MovieZoo will only accept one track per character. So I need to move this last line up to the first line so that everything that the, that the first character says is on the same track. And the way I do that, I'm going to pick this, this cursor right here so that I can delete everything here in the beginning and then I'm going to pick this cursor which will let me slide this dialog over and up so now when I play this uh, it will play three tracks for three characters hi what is your name my name is big guy and my name is pretty girl Thanks to both of you for telling me your name. Okay, so that's how you basically arrange and space everything. Now, there's other things that you probably want to do with your dialogue, and that is to change the, the sound of the voices. So I'm going to give Big Guy a voice that's deeper than mine, and, when, and I'm going to give Pretty Girl a voice that's higher than mine. So to accomplish that, I, I believe this was Big Guy's track. I highlight the track by clicking over here on the far left. Then I come up to Effect, uh, where is that, Change Pitch. And I found that plus or minus three semitones, is, is a, it makes enough of a difference in your voice to sound unique. So for the big guy, I'm going to go minus three. That will make it three semitones deeper. And for Pretty Girl, I'm going to make hers change pitch. I'm going to make her plus three semitones. Okay, now when we play this all back, uh, I haven't changed mine, so mine will continue to be in my voice. Uh, big guy will have a deeper voice and pretty girl will have a higher voice. So let's see if it worked out that way. Hi, what is your name? My name is Big Guy. And my name is Pretty Girl. 
Thanks to both of you for telling me your name. Okay, so Pretty Girl sounds more like a geek, but you get my point. You have to experiment with the, uh, with the different settings to uh, actually make it sound like uh, a, a female if you're a male making the track. But anyway, that's, that's the essentials of how to space the tracks, how to get one track for each character by moving uh, additional uh, recorded content up to one track and, and sliding it to where it needs to be. So now we, we need to look at how to get it saved out so we can put it into MovieZoo. And the way you do that is you save one track at a time uh, and you, you click here in the left side to highlight the track and then you uh, export selection. We're gonna just only export what we have selected here. And I'm gonna uh, call this uh, dialogue one. And I'm going to save it as a wave. You've got several options here to save as, but MovieZoo seems to like wave. And just click OK to this annoying screen that com keeps coming up. Then we'll highlight this one. File, export selection. And we'll call this dialog 2. Yes. And we'll highlight this third track file export selection call it dialogue three okay so now we've saved all of these and the main important thing that we've done is we've already established the spacing of the dialogue and we've got one track for each character we're going to exit this and we're going to go to movie zoo now where I've already got three characters loaded. The first thing we have to do is prepare audio. Preparing audio and preparing dialogue are not the same thing, but they're related. The first thing you have to do is add the audio files. So we prepare audio. We need to create a new file. And when it's highlighted, we'll click edit and then import. And we'll pick dialogue one. Okay, then we're going to create a new one, and we'll highlight it, edit, import, dialog 2, open. Okay, and we'll create new again for a third time, highlight the third track that we just created. I'm going to edit that and edit by importing, click dialog 3, open and OK. So now we have, if we go to the timeline, you can see that we have the audio files are loaded and the, the dialogue is spaced correctly just like it was in Audacity. But it's still not assigned to a character yet. So we're going to go out of this and we're going to go back to prepare dialogue. And for, for this, um, I'm going to start with, I guess Daniel must be the guy. So for Daniel's dialogue, he's going to lip sync to dialogue one. Big guy is going to lip sync to dialogue two. And cute chick is going to lip sync to dialogue three. Now we're going to switch to direct. And you can see, go back to the beginning. Oh, let's don't do it that way. Let's go to just the timeline and we can see all three of these. Hi, what is your name? My name is Big Guy. And my name is Pretty Girl. Thanks to both of you for telling me your name. So you can see uh, each, each character had his, own tr his or her own track. Each one, when, once that track was assigned to them, they waited until it was their turn, and then they spoke. And that's pretty much all you need to know for creating dialogue with Audacity for MovieZoo.